Yeah, I'm getting money, man. Yeah, I'm getting money. Just rock with it. They know me, show up like the president. White suit, stunner shades, hotter than I ever been. I, I get it, get it. Money. Times are still tough in the midst of a recession, so it can be very difficult to find a job with or without a college degree. College students getting ready to graduate may be having a hard time finding a job. Financial advisor Rob Wilson is here with us this morning with some advice for college grads as they prepare their new financial lives. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. It's so tough right now. It's so frustrating for college students. You know, they go to school to get a really great job when they get out, and, you know, we're in the middle of a recession. It's just really frustrating for them right now. What advice do you have uh, financially for uh, college grads? Because I know they're facing uh, some tough times right now. You're exactly right. And I know, you know, folks have worked so hard, finally graduated, and, you know, the natural tendency is to say, hey, now I'm going to get a full time paycheck. And you really want to raise the level of your lifestyle. But, you know, the way you start your professional career, has a lot of bearing on the way that you end your career and so it's very important I think to make some very good decisions up front. Okay so let's talk about some of those decisions starting with um, investments and insurance. What do you recommend for kids who are just out of college? Well you certainly have to think about putting some money away. So for young professionals, I am a big fan of the Roth IRA. So this gives you the ability to put away after-tax dollars for your retirement, uh, and those those monies go to grow tax-deferred. However, if you ever need to access that money, you can always withdraw your contributions tax and penalty-free. So this allows you to simultaneously save for retirement, but, but also have what I like to call tell your boss where to go money uh, if you ever need to access that and, and change your job or your career. Um, insurance is also a very important thing. When you come out of school, the, your greatest asset is your ability to work and earn a living. And so think about getting some disability insurance, especially if there's a history of health problems in your family. And, you know, the last thing is to keep your options open. Don't necessarily run out and go get a house and a car and have all of these obligations. What if you want to start a business in the future? What if you want to go back to graduate school full time? Those things will be a lot easier to do if you haven't amassed a lot of obligations. Rob, a lot of kids right now are listening to that saying, okay, invest my money, but you know what? I have these student loans and I can only get a minimum wage job because the recession. How am I going to put money away when I have, you know, these student loans to pay off? What advice do you have for college students with their student loans? Absolutely. Well, you know, this recession has thrown a uh, big wrench into a lot of people's plans. But, you know, I, I would say this, I, and this is more for folks who, who may be still in college. You've got to think from the outset about this as a business. So if you think about the housing crisis, you don't want to take a $300,000 mortgage on a house that is worth $150,000. In the same way, you, you can't take these big, huge loans if the, the career that you're thinking about going into isn't going to help you pay those loans. So I think you think about that as a business from the very outset. However, there is some uh, there are a couple of things that you can do if you do have these big uh, student loans. The first thing you can do is try to consolidate. This allows you to lower the payments, lock in a lower interest rate, and pay the, pay the amount over time. However, do be mindful that if you stretch those payments out, you will be paying more uh, in interest over the life of the loan. There's also a new program that just starts on July 1st of this year called M Income Based Replacement. If you're in a, in a job that uh, you know has maybe a lower salary, this will allow you to uh, cap your student loan payments at a percentage of your discretionary income. If you work for a nonprofit or a government agency or AmeriCorps, you can apply for loan forgi forgiveness. And if you come into some financial hardships, you can apply for a deferral or or forbearance to uh, help you get through that time. Okay, Rob Wilson, our financial advisor, yeah. always great advice. Thank you so much. And of I'm course, if you want more information, go to robwilson.tv. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm getting money. Just rock with it. They know me, show up like the president. White suit, stunner shades, hotter than I ever been. I, I get it, get it.